You know, we've been talking about uh, the helmet of salvation and the battleground being the mind. And uh, it's really important to understand your mind. It's really under important to understand <clears throat> the schemes and the strategies uh, of Satan, his tactics. He's very brilliant, fallen angel. His IQ is way beyond ours. And uh, so we, can, we can't really, we really can't outthink him. You can't just push out thoughts. You have to actually speak them out of your mind. <clears throat> we can't outthink Satan, but we can outtalk him. If we know what his strategies are and we begin to find our inner self becoming disquieted because thoughts we might be thinking, we can just take authority over those thoughts, command them to leave our mind out loud. We have to say it out loud. Speak it into the air. Speak it to the enemy. Satan, get out of my mind. And all your little tricks and tactics, get out of my mind. Jesus' name. But when you look at the implements for being armed and prepared to fight, the first thing that's mentioned is have your loins gird with truth. Um, uh, so... Why would it say it this way? And that, the answer is because uh, your waist, your loins being girded with truth is, is where your sexual uh, bias is, your sexual sexuality is, whether you're male or female. Uh, we want to be uh, girded in that area. We want to be protected in that area because it's not as though God's a prude. God uh, set up the whole reality of sex between a man and a woman. Homosexuality today is a big deal and same-sex marriages, it's uh, really a tragedy that has come as a result of Satan twisting the minds of human beings. Homosexuality is truly a mental disease that begins with a lie. And uh, there's no replacement for a dad and a mom but for children. I mean, they're just the way it's set up, it's designed this way. And sexuality was uh, invented and designed by God. It, it's it's proper in its place. And that's why we need to be girded about with truth because there's so much disease out there. There's so much misconception. There's so much lying going on and twisting going on. And we have to understand that, that Satan is the author of lies. He is a liar. Everything he does is a lie. It's a misrepresentation of the truth. And so when it comes to sexuality, we need to know what is in bounds and what's out of bounds. And this is really tough for young people today, especially with the uh, uh, proliferation of pornography and sexuality and in, in, uh, in, in advertising and television and everywhere you, everywhere you can imagine is this uh, uh, promotion of sex outside of the boundaries that God ordained. God ordained for sex to take place in a love relationship that is sanctioned in a marriage between a man and a woman. Not many men and one woman, or not many, wo many women and one man, uh, but a husband having one wife. And why is this? Because sexuality is, is the consummation of a love relationship. It should not precede a love relationship. Love relationship is not necessarily the way people think about it today, which, which is all about romance and uh, uh, human affection. It begins by somebody caring about somebody so much that they're willing to lay down their life, just as Jesus laid down his life for us. This is true love, that God loved us and he came and died for our sins and laid down his life. Sacrificial love is the real love. Now, there's nothing wrong with human affection. It's just that it has to come in second place to sacrificial love. Human affection is caught up with feeling, and God's love is not about feeling first. It's about sacrifice. So sexuality should follow sacrificial love where one person's life is laid down for the other, and then sexuality is a consummation of that sacrificial love. And so we have to be told straight about sex, 
we have to be told straight about how it gets twisted and how the enemy is using it to destroy the human race, keep us from uh, proper love relationships and conv convolute and twist and desecrate something that God means for a blessing. And there's uh, plenty of that confusion going on out there because the author of confusion continues to lie to us about some things, many things, especially sexuality, that God invented that he means to be exercised in a love relationship, not for the idea of having pleasure first, but for the idea of sacrificial love to be expressed and where we can learn about Christ and what his love is really about in a true love relationship in marriage. So all these politicians, all these ministers today that think that same-sex marriages is correct have fallen under the spell of confusion of the enemy and they're out of line. And so, uh, so is the whole notion of interrupting uh, what, what is a result of sex, which is children, to be aborted. All of that is Satan's attempt to destroy the human race and to confuse, twist, and uh, destroy what God has meant to be good and holy. Children are a blessing from the Lord, bottom line. They're not to be discarded like trash. So let's have our loins girded about with truth so that we can fight the fight of faith. For young people, it's really tough because your hormones are raging. You tend to be influenced by peer pressure. But God's word is the way to go. Let's follow God's word and not let the lies prevail in our minds. Let's put on the mind of Christ about these things and have our waist and our loins gird with truth.